Let's talk today about systems without solving. What I mean by that is sometimes it's important to know how many possible solutions you could have, but you don't need to know the actual solution. For instance, if you have a no solution system, how much work do you need before you know a solution doesn't exist? In a no solution, solution system, for instance, what do we know about their slopes? Well, the slopes are always going to be the same because the lines are going to be parallel. What can we say about the intercepts of these two parallel lines? They're always going to be different, right? So the slopes are the same, the y-intercepts are different in a no solution system. How about in an infinitely many solution system? Now here there's one line that basically lies on top, right? So in a no, or sorry, infinitely many solution system, what can we say about their slopes? Well, since they're the same line, they're obviously going to have the same slope. And how about the y-intercepts? Again, because they are exactly the same line, their intercepts are going to be the same too. So slopes are the same, intercepts are the same in an infinitely many solution system. In a one solution system, where the answer is just going to be a point, what can we say about their slopes? Well, since they're going off in different directions, their slopes are going to be different. And what about their y-intercepts? Their y-intercepts are going to be different almost always. I say almost always because what if this line were over here and their y-intercept was exactly the same? I still have different slopes and this is still a one solution system. My my answer is still going to just be a point, but sometimes their y-intercepts are going to be the same, but their slopes will always be different. So let's try a few without graphing. So I don't want to solve, I don't want to graph, so I'm going to try this just a little bit differently than what we've done in the past. Notice how both of these equations are in slope-intercept form. That's what I want to look for. Notice how their slopes, oh sorry, that's a negative three-sevenths, but their slopes are different, right? So we have different slopes, and how about their y-intercepts? They also have different intercepts, right? So if I have different slopes and different intercepts, what does that mean for my system? What kind of system was that? This was a one solution system. So I know that this is only going to have one solution and today that's enough. I don't actually have to find the point where they meet. Today it's enough to know that there is a point where they meet. How about this next example? What do you notice about their slopes. They're both 13 over 5, so we can say they have the same slope, but what about their intercepts? One crosses the y-axis at negative 5 and the other crosses the y-axis at positive 9, so they have different intercepts. Because of that, what kind of system is this going to be? What are those two lines going to look like? They're starting in, the, in different places, but they're going in the same direction. What kind of system is that going to be? That's going to be a no solution system. Those lines are parallel. What happens when I have a system that looks like this? I have a problem here because I don't know what their slopes and intercepts are, so I'm going to have to do a little rearranging. Take this first equation, for instance. If I add the three x's to the other side, I'm going to have positive 15 y's. If these move to the other side, they're going to become positive three x's because I had to add them over, and I still have that negative 36. I'm still not quite in slope-intercept form. I'm going to have to divide everything by 15. 
When I do that, I'm going to get some fractions here. I'm just going to reduce the fractions. So not a big deal. So I'm going to get y is 3 over 15 is going to reduce to 1 fifth x and negative 36 over 15, all I can do is reduce that. I'm going to start by dividing both of those by 3 and I'm going to get 12 fifths. I can't reduce either fraction any more than I already have, so there is my first equation. My second equation, I'm going to bring that down and change it into slope-intercept form. First, I'm going to subtract the x to the other side. So I'm going to have a negative 5y, and now I'm going to have a negative x, and that positive 12 is still going to be there. When I divide everything by negative 5, Again, I'm going to have to do some division here and reduce fractions. I'm going to get y equals, this is negative 1 over negative 5. Negative over negative gives me positive 1 fifth x. Don't forget the x. And positive 12 over negative 5 gives me negative 12 fifths. I can't reduce that fraction anymore, and I don't want to take it to a mixed number. When I do that, when I've change both of these to slope-intercept form, look at my new equations. They are absolutely identical. In other words, they have the same slope, same intercept, So these are the same line. What kind of system is that? What kind of solution am I going to have? This is what it looks like when I have, let me see if I can get this to write, an infinitely many solution system. Sorry for the bad handwriting, but infinitely many solutions is my answer. So make sure this makes it into your notebooks Remember, a one solution system is when we have a different slope and a different intercept. Sometimes we can have the same intercept, but not often. A no solution system has the same slope, but a different intercept. And infinitely many solutions has the same slope and the same intercept. Make sure to write down any questions. Make sure to rewind and write these down in your notebooks if you haven't already. Have a great day.